I think the pleasure is mine. And, uh, thank you very much for offering me this opportunity. You're welcome. Now, Ghana is known as the first African country to having attained its independence, having gone through you know, turbulent regimes. How has the country managed to remain so peaceful and stable? Well, our independence in 1957, uh, the 6th of March, is a very monumental development in Africa. But our the first African country south of the Sahara to attain independence. And those were the days when agitations were on for Africa's emancipation, Africa's freedom from colonial rule. So indeed, what our president, on the day of declaring independence for Ghana, what he said was that the independence of Ghana would be meaningless unless it is linked with the total liberation of Africa which meant that even though we're independent as far back as 1957 and will be 60 years come next year March, we were not independent until South Africa, the last bastion of colonialism, gained its independence in 1994. That was when Ghana saw itself as truly independent because then the total fight that we've been fighting for the rest of Africa had come to you know, uh, effect. And, and we have retained that ever since. But of course, uh, we've also gone through our own uh, turbulences, political changes through the barrel of the gun, and as a trend, indeed, we've had something like almost nine changes of government, uh, undemocratic changes of government. Uh, we've had just four democratic changes since 1992. So from 1966, when the first coup took place in Ghana to overthrow the first president of the Republic of Ghana and his party, the Convention People's Party, we went through military coups, after military coups, until 1979, to be precise, 1981, when we had the last coup led by President Jerry John Rawlings, uh, who said that his coup, that particular coup, was going to be the last of the coups in Navo in Ghana. And uh, true, true, after that, come 1992, uh, he stood election and won on the popular suffrage and became the president of the democratic Ghana. And since then, we have had changes of government from the ruling government to the opposition, from the opposition back to the ruling government. Jerry Rawlings did eight years as president of a democratic Ghana. President Kufo took over from Rawlings as the opposition leader, now president of the country for eight years. And then President Mills took over from uh, President Kufo. Uh, Mills belongs to the Rawlings uh, party. So Rawlings party came back again, and Mills ruled for five years until uh, he was knocked off by nature. He, he died, unfortunately, on the seat. And President John Mahama, who is currently the president, took over from uh, President Mills. 